Gemini, I am your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, October 23rd to Monday, October 30th, 2017. Now, what we've got going on this week, Gemini, is we've got the Sun and Jupiter conjunct right here in your sixth house of your job, uh, of your daily routines, and also of your health, okay? So I think there's a lot of focus for you on that area, okay? Maybe your days are getting really busy, there's a lot going on on the day to day, and I think you're just trying to figure out how to have a better job, have a better set of daily routines, and how to better organize your life to make it something that it is that you really want, okay? <laughs> because this is Scorpio and the beginning of degrees there, and because Jupiter just moved into it, I think there could be some uncomfortable feelings coming up too uh, for us about the past, about our job, about our daily routines. Maybe our job was not what we wanted it to be uh, for the past few years here, and you think we're trying to figure out what went wrong and how we can make it better so that we can have some good daily routines and I think if you just let yourself feel some of these feelings it's really gonna help you to better organize your life and create a life that it is that you really want externally okay so I think that is what is going on here that we're trying to just work out emotionally inside to feel more comfortable with this life that it is that we're living on the outside okay as we're trying to work some of this stuff out inside us I think we're also thinking a lot about it too I mean we're Gemini's so our minds always going here and I think we're thinking a lot about our daily routines about how we can make them better about what's going on there I think we're also communicating too with people on the day-to-day -day about what's going on as well as I said with Mercury there next to the Sun and Jupiter I think a lot of this communication has to do over here where Neptune is since Mercury is making a trine to Neptune in your 10th house of career I think a lot of it has to do about where your life is going, uh, your career, what it is that you want. It's not enough to just have a job or a better set of daily routines, but I think we want some daily routines that can like help us move up in the world, help us move in the right direction, okay? And that really has a purpose and a meaning for us to do something really good that it is that we want. And so I think we're trying to figure out about that, about how we can have a job, a set of daily routines that can give us a career and move us in the right direction, okay? Because this is Neptune, there could be some confusion here here about our career, about the direction our life is going in, uh, in a lot of ways. And I think the message here is not to force your job or your daily routines to match your idolized, perfect, pretty version of a career, but to let yourself explore different op options for your career, okay? And allow your life direction to um, unfold, perhaps in a way that you weren't expecting. And I think if you allow yourself to do that and to think about your career, perhaps in some different ways, it's going to be a lot easier for you to organize your life and to feel like your life is going in the direction that you needed to go in and to get the insights that you need, which Neptune also can bring, okay? So I think that is what is happening, especially at the beginning of the week. I think if you can focus on your job and getting it in order, all right, and are being patient with where it's taking your career, I think it's going to open some big doors for you here, okay, where Pluto is. Um, in your eighth house of changes, all right, to make some big changes in your life, to put your life in the direction that you want it to go in, to organize your life, and have a set of daily routines that just really resonate with you deep down in your heart that it really is that you want, okay? I think that's what we're trying to figure out, is how can we just live life more true and more authentically and more deeply, okay, and form the right relationships that we want and move forward in that way, and I think focusing on your job and daily routines is going to open up some doors here for you to have a life that you want and make the change in life that you need to get your life in the right direction here with Mercury also going to make a sextile to Pluto there in your eighth. Now, as you're going about trying to organize your life, figure out your job to be more of what you want and move your life in the right direction, I think there could be some uncomfortable feelings here where Saturn is. Okay, Saturn here is in your seventh house of partnerships and other people. Okay, and Saturn is forming a square to Chiron here in your 10th house of career. So as we're trying to organize our life, have a job that we want, change our life for the better to be more of what it is that we want and point our life in the right direction. Maybe we're worried that relationships aren't going to support us, that other people in our life aren't going to help us move our life in the direction that we need to do, that we have to do all the work here in order to move forward. And I think the message of this week, at least, is to not get so lost if you have these hurt feelings, to not get so carried away with them um, in a lot of ways. I think people can help you. I think there are a lot of insights that can come with people, but I think what you need to focus on this week, at least, is your job and your daily routines and you doing what you need to do, okay, to figure out what's going on there and to organize your life um, in order for some of those doors to open up, okay? And if you're too focused on other people and whether other people are or not helping you move your life in the right direction, I think it's gonna distract you from doing the other work that needs to be done this week and that you actually can do and can control to make good things happen, okay? 
Um, so I think that's the thing. I think if you focus on your job as well, not only is it going to help you make the changes that you need to make to put your life in the right direction, but I think it's also going to allow you here to better communicate as well about your life, to communicate more authentically about your heart, about what you want on the inside as well, with Mercury also making a square here to the North Node in your third house of talk and of communication and of your mind. You know, focusing on your job is going to help you to better understand your life as well and to be more at peace mentally with what is going on here as well as communicate with others more openly about your life too okay uh, as it's going on we also have venus here coming in in your fifth house of happiness all right where it actually has been for quite a while and we've actually had lots of planets moving through there so this isn't the first time we've been dealing or thinking about what makes us happy but we also have venus in your fifth house of happiness also making a square over to pluto so as you're trying to make some changes in your life to make it more of what it is that you want and to go deeper with relationships or understand more truly inside what it is that you want i think you're also trying to work out some things about what makes you happy Maybe having to change some things that make you happy. Could also roll passion projects. Maybe having to change some passion projects too to be more of what you want. Romantic relationships also fall into this category as well. Maybe having to make some changes there. Kids, if you have any. Uh, really having to adjust on the inside what you get enjoyment from, okay? So that you really can begin to step into uh, a job into some habits, into some daily routines that you feel are better for you. And I think we want to have a better life. We want to do things that we, um, that are, that can move us in the right direction with our job, with our daily routines. But I think a big thing is also making sure that you like these things that you're doing on the daily routine, on the day to day, that they resonate with who you are on the inside and that it, it's not just empty work as well. And I think you're trying to figure out what you need to change in your life and inside you, okay, in order to be happy on the day-to-day -day while you're doing all this stuff and making all these moves, okay? <laughs> With Mars also moving in to uh, the fifth house and in a semi-square over here to your sixth, I think you're also gonna have to be a little patient as well when it comes to doing things you enjoy on your job and on the day-to-day. -day. Not that you can't be happy at work and not that you can't be happy in your external reality, just that it's gonna take some time for you to work with your romantic relationships and your passion projects and your heart to feel okay with this, this job that you're having and this life that you're living okay so i think that is what is going on this week your card is the page of cups reversed this to me is a card of actually not feeling quite right emotionally this week not feeling like our emotions are all there like we have what it need what we need to feel emotionally safe and comfortable maybe lacking some kind of inspiration or creativity as well and i think the message is to figure out what can you do to bring the inspiration bring the creativity back into your life get in touch with your heart once again here so that again your daily routines and the life that you're living isn't empty but has real meaning and really resonates with with you on the inside and I think if you can do that it's gonna be a lot easier for you to to keep moving forward and doing things that you need to take care of okay so that's what I have for you today thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on YouTube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and I will talk to you later